This TTS tutorial video will demonstrate how to designate an alternative host in Zoom, as well as review the three types of roles available in Zoom meetings. Assigning an alternative host for your Zoom meeting allows you to share hosting privileges with another user, allowing them to start the meeting if you are unable to. Alternative hosts also have the ability to manage the administrative side of the meeting, including managing participants, muting and unmuting, recording, breakout rooms, and issuing polls. To designate an alternative host, navigate to Zoom via My Reynolds. Click Settings, then navigate to the Meetings link on the left side navigation, and schedule your upcoming meeting. Include Topic, Description, date and time, duration, and any other settings you wish to set. Specific attention should focus on meeting options here. Feel free to customize your meeting according to your preferences. To set an alternative host, enter their email address in the following field. Note, you must enter their at email.bccs.edu email address. Our at reynolds.edu addresses will not work, and if you try to submit, you will receive a message saying it is not associated with a Zoom account. If you are unsure of the user's at vccs email account, either ask them directly or look it up by searching in Google Contacts. More info about how to do this can be found on the Tech Training Google Tutorial page. Link provided in the video description below. Click Save to save and schedule the meeting. The alternative host will then receive an email with their alternative host link at their at VCCS email account. The email they receive provides the alternative host a private link to the Zoom meeting that will enable them the proper privileges. Alternatively, the alternative host can enter the Zoom meeting simply by clicking the normal invite link they are provided in an email. However, they must be logged into My Reynolds in the same browser at the time they click the normal Zoom link or enter the room ID. This ensures they will be provided alternative host privileges inside the room. Otherwise, if they are not logged in, they will enter the Zoom room as a normal participant, not as an alternative host. Tip. If you are the alternative host, one way to ensure you enter the Zoom room with the proper privileges is to check the Participants button located on the lower toolbar. If the button says Manage Participants, then that means you are in fact the alternative host. If it only says Participants, then you are only a participant. As an alternative host, you now have the ability to manage the chat, mute participants, share screen, record, assign breakout rooms, and offer polling. So far, we've discussed two types of roles in Zoom, hosts and alternative hosts. There is a third role, co-hosts. Co-hosts have the same permissions as alternative hosts in a Zoom meeting, except they cannot start a meeting. If both the host and another user will be present together in the meeting, then there is no need to assign the alternative host prior to the meeting. Rather, we recommend assigning the user as co-host during the meeting itself. To sign a co-host, you must do so during the meeting. Once your Zoom meeting has started, navigate to the lower toolbar and click on Manage Participants. Your Participants panel will appear on the right side of the page. To assign a user co-host, hover over their name, select More, then Make Co-host, then select the option Yes. This will give them the same in-meeting controls as the host. Let's recap. A host has full permission to schedule and start meetings, as well as manage in-meeting controls. An alternative host can start a meeting and has the same in-meeting controls as the host. And the co-host only has the same in-meeting controls as the host. Co-hosts cannot start or schedule meetings in advance. 
The main question in deciding whether to assign a user alternative host or co-host is this. Do you need this user to start the meeting for you? If so, then assign them alternative host prior to the start of the meeting. Otherwise, if you plan to be in the meeting along with this user, you only then need to assign them co-host during the meeting itself. Assigning an alternative host or co-host is encouraged as it will allow one user to present while the other can manage the chat and participants, mute and unmute, share screen, and other in-meeting controls. And that's your TTS video tutorial on how to designate an alternative host in Zoom meetings.